guys today. I have a brazo de Mercedes with a caramel sauce on top. The ingredients I have is 10 egg yolks, 10 egg whites, 3 4 half of granulated seed sugar, half a spoon of tartar cream, the vanilla, and the condensed milk. So first, we mix the meringue, the egg whites, and followed by the uh, tartar cream. Okay. First, you're gonna mix this with a very high spoon. Okay. Look at this, guys. Guys, you know, Brussels and Mercedes is a type of roll cake, sometimes referred to as a jelly roll, made from a sweet soft meringue with a custard filling. This heavenly cake is considered as one of the all time favorites in the Philippines, but I twisted a lot of it. I want to be an international guest. So if you know about the, you know, the famous one in the actually the plotting island, okay, I will make it the same test. So I decided to add a caramel sauce on top. Okay, look at that. Now start become a soft meringue. Okay, look at that. So here we go, guys. Look at that. It's time to all the sugar. Add the sugar one at a time. By the way, guys, what I like the most about this cake is the spans like pictures of the meringue that literally melts in your mouth. And the light flavor of the meringue is balanced by the flavor of the rich custard filling. But added with a caramel sauce truly is amazing. More tasty. Okay. Everybody might be thinking that this roll cake is hard to create. But for me, even me before. Okay. I tried many times. Maybe three or four times. I tried to make this. But it's not really very good. And try again. Then a getting nice look. So you should not be quiet, you know. Once that your fashion is baking and you want to do something very interesting, do it. And don't stop it. Don't quiet. Do it many times. It doesn't matter. Because practice make perfect. So look at that. This is our Brazo de Mercedes. Yes, this is the meringue. We need a very soft and strong meringue. Okay, you can see that, guys. Okay, everybody, anyway, amazed if you can make a Brussels de Mercedes because the thought, as I told you, that this uh, you know cake is very hard to make it, but actually it is not. Okay, but you need it to practice and to roll up. To roll the cake is the uh, the hardest one. Okay, and the textures of the filling, the custard, should be not the uh, you know soft. So here we go. I have a preferred also a roasted uh, baking tree with a wax paper. We are going to pour that one there. Okay, you can see that, guys. Okay, look at that. So we should be spread it evenly. Okay, look at that. Love it. See? Perfect meringue. Then we're going to spread it. Okay. Oh, I forget again to bring some oil uh, or some base of cake, uh, cake roasted tree. Anyway, I can do it slowly. Spread it all over the base. Definitely. I started making this, guys. I thought.
course, this is you know very hard. But when you are used to it, you can do it. Easy. Okay. Spread it all over evenly. Okay. So we are going to open this just only for 30 minutes or 20 minutes. For the degrees of 175. Okay. So 20 to 30 minutes or until the color of the top part turns light to medium brown. While the meringue is in the oven, we make the filling to combining the egg yolks, candied milk, and the vanilla and the small suspen. Then apply the head. And hold the mixture while we are continuously stirring. Okay, we continue stirring in it to avoid burning our postcard. Okay, until it became thick. Okay, then keep stirring in it, guys. Then, when it's thick, okay, turn off the head, then set it aside. Okay, but totally continue mix the custard. Okay, can see that guys, kept mixing, kept staring on it. I put a very low head, a very low temperature. I'm scared to be burned. Anyhow, look at that. It's getting more, it's getting thick. Okay. Now I turn off the head and I put it aside. I'm still mixing it. Okay. Then, so okay. I have here a pastry mat and on top of wax paper and sprinkle on top of the wax paper with confectioner sugar. Okay. I'm going to put on top. Okay, you can see that, guys. Spread it well. Okay. With the size of our meringue. Okay. You can see that. Then we bring it out the meringue. From the tree. Look at that. This is our meringue. We are going to flip it. We put the meringue. Look at that, guys. Yes. Okay. Okay, I slowly wrap the wax paper. Wax paper. Okay. You can see that, guys. Then after this, we are going to spread the filling. Our postcard. Okay. Now spread the Mary and 
I mean, the cost type. Spread it well, then we spread it evenly. Can you see that, guys? This is the best part. Rolling the cake. Sometimes, if you are not, you know, familiar of this, it's going to be wrapped in the middle. Okay? This part, you're going to be filled. So if you get a technique of how to roll up, okay, just be with me, guys. Okay, then start to roll up. Okay. Make sure that the layer with filling is rolled inward. Yes. Go. And easy, you know. Because I'm practicing many times. Here is our boss of the Mercedes is ready to serve, but because I am putting some caramel sauce on top, so we set it aside. Let's go to cream caramel. We are going to make a homemade cream caramel. So here we go. This is one and a half cup of granulated sugar and one fourth cup of water. Mix it together, boil it until caramel. Okay. You see that? Until perfectly gold in color. Okay. You see that? A little bit more. Okay. You see that, guys? A little bit more. Then add the water. Oh, so hot. Okay, then sit inside. Leave it to be cool. So, here we go. I will show you how perfect our uh, Brazil de Mercedes is. So, I cut some of it. Here we go, guys. Look at that. Wow. Perfect. Soft. And look at the feeling that the starts. Wonderful. And here we go, guys. I transfer into a serving tree. Okay. And this is optional anyway, guys. If you want to put some strawberry or some people, they add banana on top. Okay. But for me, I prepared to put some uh, strawberry okay, on top for our presentation. You can see that, guys. This is not only really ordinary uh, draws of the Mercedes. Okay, we upgrade yes. the quality and the test of our draws of the Mercedes. You can see that. Okay, if you can add also some blueberry. Okay. okay, guys, just keep watching. Then the syrup. There we go, 
you guys look at that okay then this is the one we're going to serve right now so i add some strawberries on top And drizzled with straw uh, caramel sauce. Look at that. Yes. Wow. So. Look at this, guys. Beautiful, and of course, I did some test the straw, the caramel sauce. Ready to serve? Okay. Wow. So I focus the camera on our Brazil de Mercies. You can see it. It's a very luxury look. Look at that. It's very well upgraded. The strawberry, the caramel sauce, it looks so elegant and looks so yummy, more tasty. Okay, and of course, our brother Mercedes is made it. So here we go, guys, look at that. Perfect and so yummy. So guys, don't forget to subscribe, Roll 99, the baking tutorial. Today, I have a healthy pancake, yummy breakfast. So the ingredients I have is pancake syrup, two teaspoon, okay? And baking powder, one teaspoon, one and a half cup of almond milk, almond, almond drink, almond flour, one third cup, and two third cup of organic rolled oat, okay? And one tablespoon also of coconut flakes, okay? And one teaspoon of uh, salt and two eggs and cinnamon, one teaspoon. So I mix it together, this is the result. Throw blender, okay? You can see that, guys. I prepared also an unstickable frying pan. Then pour some butter in it. When it is hot, it depends on you how size it is, how big it is, small, medium, and I have a medium size. Okay, when it is bubbling on top, you can flip it. Okay, and slowly. Not to break it because there is no oil of this pancake. You can see that guys, a little bit bubbling. So, it seems that it's ready to flip. Okay, like that. I love this pancake so much. Flip it. It's light, very light. Okay. Look at that, guys. I need only three pieces of medium pancake to serve for breakfast. Okay, look at that. And then another more, two more. Okay, guys i'm baking you to make this kind of pancake this recipe it's very yummy it's very delicious it's very light okay and healthy of course look at that another one more and also we are going to so we go i have one banana one medium of banana two pieces of strawberry and some blueberry 
Now I'm going to slice my banana and grill it with a little bit of oil, a coconut oil, and organic coconut oil. Okay. So look at that. We're going to grill the banana. This is a dessert banana anyway, just I want it to uh, cook a little bit. A little bit golden, brown, hot, both sides, like that. Okay. This is our topping. As you know, when you came from uh, gym and workout, you need some potassium. But they say that don't eat banana before you go to workout. After workout, you can eat banana. Okay. Like that. A bit more. Here we go, guys. We've done our banana, just put on top into the pancake. Okay, look at this, guys. You know, I love this all together. Oh my god, so very delicious. Then we add also, uh, of course, some fruits, the berries that I show you, the strawberries and the blueberries. And of course, don't forget to add some papaya, 30 grams of papaya is enough. Okay, here we go, guys. Look at that. Then I add two pieces of uh, walnuts on top. I crack it, break it. Okay, look at that. And look at that. Here's my, my nuts, my papaya, my blueberry, and the strawberry. A little bit, you know. Just add some side in your pancake. And a little bit of cinnamon. Love it, guys. So I had a little bit of pancake syrup, but if you want to put some. Uh, Honey, it's up to you guys. So look at that, guys. It's healthy, yummy breakfast. A very yummy, delicious pancake. And with a side of uh, strawberries, blueberries, and papaya. And I have also an American coffee. Without sugar, guys, because I add already a uh, Pancake syrup on top into our pancake. So look at that, guys. Guys, I'm begging you to make this pancake. Follow my recipe, guys. I will tell you this is very healthy and yummy pancake. So, guys, don't forget to subscribe. The 99 the baking tutorial. Guys, today I have a very simple way of making coconut macarons using condensed milk. This is 497 or one pan. And this is a fresh almond nut. And of course, the desiccated coconut. Okay. This is only 400 grams. So. One thing we do, guys, is we are going to mix the coconut and the condensed milk. This is very easy. Okay? Simple. So, guys, we are going to add our condensed milk into our desiccated coconut. Okay? This is the best way, easy way of making 
coconut macarons simple way and yet yummy delicious of course so plenty of antioxidant so look at it guys should be the coconut coated with a condensed milk makes it well of course very simple and easy i love coconut anyway okay look at it guys Okay. Just continue mixing and until it will mixing. So look at that. And guys, this is optional anyway. If you want to add some chocolate, uh, chocolate chips in the in the middle or filling with it, you can do it. But this there is also guys after adding the condensed milk, I mix it with my hand and uh, started filling on it with a chocolate chips. It's up to you guys. This is optional anyway. If you want to add more something to change it, the test, to add something, a test, you can add a nuts or you can add also a chocolate. For me, I choose a chocolate anyway because I love chocolate. Everybody loves chocolate, isn't it? So I add some uh, chocolate chips and add some almond on top. Okay, guys. One thing I like this coconut, easy coconut, simple way of making coconut macarons is when I came from uh, gym and get hungry a bit, I eat this. One bite, it's enough for me and I drink a water. I'm not feeling hungry. I'm not craving anything else. So I lose the weight. Okay. Just continue to do it. Okay. And guys, this is good for coffee anyway. Or snacks. After me, after meal, you can eat this. So, look at that. Especially in my country, there is a lot of, uh, you know, coconut. So I learned this from my mother. Okay. So here we go, guys. This is ready to open. And open it approximately or eventually 15 minutes okay look at that guys after 15 minutes our coconut macarons easy coconut macarons simple easy coconut macaron is done look at that i transferred into a serving tree we give it this one into a tree then time to time, if you wanted to eat, you can eat this. If you are feeling hungry, you can eat one bite. Okay, look at that, guys. I love this so much. Look at that. So, this is good for snack. Okay, look at that. Easy, healthy. Guys, today I will show you how to make an acai mixing with some berries for our breakfast. So this is acai, a frozen acai, and a strawberries, some strawberries, we mix it together, and of course the blueberries, 
and one banana and one plain uh, Greek yogurt as well and of course a liquid almond drink organic so one thing we do first guys is we are mix all the ingredients into a blender okay approximately four pieces of strawberries okay 30 grams of berries actually if you want to put it mix all the frozen uh, berries much better but for me it's too cold so i use a fresh one but our acai it's already frozen anyway we are going to mix all together with this almond drink organic it is only 100 grams of i mean 100 ml of uh, almond organic milk mix it into our oh, side. here we go guys just add 100 ml of organic almond milk then blend it guys this is optional anyway as i told you earlier that you can use a frozen fruit more better more refreshing but for me i'm not preferred to having a very cold acai so i use a fresh fruits look at it guys but some people they add some ice cream or a powder milk but for me this is a very simple but yummy and look at that guys we need more blend okay there is a little bit more you know not blended very well the blueberry so continue to blend it well until we could not see any hole of it okay and it's not really watery because this is a bowl acai we are going to add something with it okay look at that everybody love acai so yummy and great refreshing see that guys this is our acai and i prepared also a wooden bowl we're gonna arrange everything here okay and i have a protein here the banana i will not add some avocado first i will i will pour some of those the acai in my wooden bowl okay and of course we are going to add the banana Okay, we cut the slices and arrange them. If someone are very interesting about acai or what is acai about, acai is an a berry. It's an inch long, reddish purple fruit. It came from the acai farm tree, which is native to Central and South America. Some studies show that acai fruit pulp is even richer in anti antioxidant than cranberries, raspberries, or any berries. Okay, and acai are touted as a superfood with anti-aging and weight loss. So this is the best, that's why everybody wanted to eat this acai. So here we go guys, I add my homemade granola. If you want to know how to make a homemade granola, I have a video about granola, you can watch it. And here we go also, I add some uh, First, banana, the slice of banana, and some slices of strawberry. Okay, and I'm going to add some peanut butter. This is a homemade peanut butter, but I don't have yet a video about this homemade peanut butter. This is all about organic and less of oil. I will make a video with it. If you are very interested, you can watch also in my channel. One of these days, I will upload this. Okay, look at that, guys. This is our acai with granola, homemade granola, homemade peanut butter, and of course, and a strawberry. This is our serving today, guys. Look at that. But guys, I will tell you, this is optional. 
if you are an ice cream lover, you get you can add some ice cream on top, but it's not on breakfast anyway. So if you add some ice cream, guys, believe me, it's so yummy, delicious. Okay, if you want some refreshing more. So here we go, guys. Look at this our serving. It is so beautiful, very healthy. Okay, it's a complete nutrients in your breakfast. And I have also a American coffee, of course. Uh, coffee is life, they say. So here we go, guys. This is our acai, ready to serve. This is a very refreshing breakfast with a complete nutrients with some American coffee. Look at this, guys. So, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Bell 99, the baking tutorial. Guys. I have a Linster Hearts Biscuit today. The ingredients we have here is one cup of uh, unsalted room temperature butter, two, six tablespoons of corn flour, two third cup of granulated sugar, three cups of all-purpose flour, two eggs, one teaspoon of baking powder, vanilla essence, and of course the raspberry and icing sugar. So, one thing we do first is we are going to mix the butter and the granulated sugar. So, the sugar and the butter in the stand mixer, mix it together until creamy. Then, we add the eggs. Okay. Give it mixing. Then we add some, of course, almond essence and a vanilla essence. I love it. Okay. A teaspoon. And a teaspoon also of vanilla essence. Give it mixing, guys. And here we go. We are going to add together the corn flour and the flour. And of course, the baking powder. So we are going to add the dry ingredients, the flour, the corn flour, and the baking powder. Okay, then slowly mix it. Okay. Slowly mix it. It's going out everything. until it will incorporate it. Okay. Actually, guys, you should mi mix this one into your hand. Use your hand, but for me, I don't want it because I have a lot of things to do it. There is a lot of, you know, desserts that I'm going to bake it. So, I use a stand mixer. It's so tiring, you know. So, look at that. It's mixed well right now. Okay, and look at that. Perfect. Then, we are going to roll out into the pastry mat. We're spreading a little bit of corn flour in the mat. Okay, spread it all over, then we roll dough out of the floured surface, okay, we roll out. And 
I have also a hard cutter. Okay. Cut the heart from the center. And where we need again and roll out again the dough and cut more shapes, maybe approximately 40 pieces. Okay. You can see that, guys. Okay, keep watching. Still have more to go. Then we continue to do it. We need it more, more heart, more full heart. Okay. My cutter is very sharp. And I love the color, color pink. Look at this. Okay. Look at that. We're almost there. Few more hearts to go. Okay. Kids not around. We are not around. We have a swimming lesson today. So we are so quiet. But we are sad. Here we go. Here is the wire. Hop hard. It's done. And we leave it to the wire racks. Leave it cold. Okay. Then we oven the whole heart. The same temperature and, of course, 15 minutes eventually. Okay. Look at that, guys. The whole heart is done. Perfect baking. Look at that. We're going to transfer into Wirex. Leave it to be cold for a while. Okay, look at that, guys. So many hearts. Okay. Sa Tagalog pa pumupuso. Yes, here we go. We almost done our Lancer hearts biscuits. You can see that, guys. Okay. You can make this in any occasions, especially in Valentine's Day, of course. Look at that. Okay. You just put all the whole heart in the wire wraps into a wire wraps in it. Okay. Lovely biscuits. So look at that. Then you are going to 
arrange the top part, of course. Okay, we are going to put it into our uh, pastry muff. Then drizzle with some icing on top. Okay, you see how? Just drizzle all those hot part. Okay. Okay. This is a lovely biscuits because there is a lot of heart, so many hearts, and yummy. I love this with pea. Okay, the sweetness is comes from the charm, and here we go, guys. I'm spreading some. Raspberry jam into the whole uh, heart. Okay. This is the raspberry jam, or you can make it a homemade raspberry jam, but I don't have enough time. So here we go. We put on top the hot heart. Okay, perfect. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay. Let's continue. One thing to make it, uh, you know, make more patient for this because it takes a lot of time. If you want to sell this into online, yes, buy boxes. Okay, because I sell this also in online. Especially if you have, you know, special occasions. Uh, I told you Valentine's Day usually and is uh, Christmas, New Year, and here is in the Middle East is Eid. Okay, I love this so much. It's good for the guesses. Okay, so look at this. Our lenser hearts biscuits is almost there. It's almost done. Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. The shape, the size, the best. Look at the price. You know, you can do it. Easy. Okay. It's not costly, the recipe. Can find it is in your kitchen. Okay, look at that. The best treat to your kids. Of course, you know kids love biscuits, cookies. This is cookies anyway. Look at that. Okay. The sweetness, guys, comes from the charm and a little bit icing sugar on top. Okay? Because we never put sugar, a little bit sugar we had. Anyway. So, we're almost there. Everybody loves these biscuits anyway. It looks special. It goes to some occasions. Of 
how many more left? Okay, we have three more left cards to fill in. But as I told you earlier, it takes a lot of time. If you are bored, you can do this now. Because you will be amazed, you will be amazed that the shape of the district. So, do like that. Just one more to go. Okay. Look at that, guys. This is the linser heart biscuits. Look at that. Did you see that? It's a very simple recipe, but it's look very elegant. Okay. Especially if you are selling this. Look at that. So, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, Vel99, the baking tutorial. Today I'm going to make a orange marmalade. I have a large of orange, five and one lemon and one cup of granulated sugar three cups of water and of course my glitter now look at my large five orange one of those we're gonna grate that and mix it to our and of course a lemon we're gonna grate the whole lemon together with the juice we need it so guys we are going to grate this large orange. It's great this. Like that. So here we go. We're gonna put it into our cooking pot. Then we proceed into our uh, orange. We remove the skin and even the membrane of the, of the orange. Like that. Yes. And we are going to cut into pieces. And sometimes I use my hands if the orange is very soft and, uh, you know, juicy. So that we, cannot, uh, we will not be waste the juice of the orange. The orange is so juicy. But I guess we need uh, a knife to cut it. Just we cut it into pieces. Like that. Okay. The orange is so, is so juicy. Very juicy. Not like this. We continue with it. That. The quality of our orange is very, very good. But this is not a very sour. That. Just cut into pieces again. Continue watching it. 
with avocado using a sourdough bread okay this is my sourdough bread and the avocado of course the cheese the sliced cheese light very light craft okay two eggs and a little bit of 10 grams of butter and of course one tablespoon of cream this is low fat and of course one glass of juice okay first we are going to slice our avocado and need to mash it, okay? Okay, look at that, guys. Thank 
just remove the skin. I'm using organic avocado. Okay. I love this avocado. This kind of avocado is very yummy because some avocado is watery. But this avocado is very yummy. Okay. And it is organic. This is the medium size. Okay, look at that. Just I'm removing the skin. Fill up the skin. Then going to mash it with a fork. Okay. You mash it very well. Then after that, we are adding a lemon, of course. Okay. Okay, look at that, guys. It becomes soft now. Okay. Then add a lemon, half of a lime, just half. Okay. And there is, I have also a granola, uh, what do you call that one? A regular. Then look at that, half of uh, one lemon. Okay. And also, a bit of block paper. Okay. And of course, a bit of uh, salt. A little bit. Just to make a little bit of test. Okay. A little bit. This is iodized salt. Okay. at that and after this we set it aside now we need to, do to make our scramble egg so I, I i have here a 10 grams of butter and two eggs okay and i'm going to add some uh, black paper look at that okay now don't leave your eggs just like that. Keep it done mixing. Okay? So avoid dryness. Okay, look at that, guys. Okay. I don't add any oil. Just a little bit of butter. This is 10 grams. One tablespoon. Yes. Okay. You see that, guys? When the pan started the uh, heat, the cook all, or the food also are started changing. It's gonna be going to cook. Look at that. Okay. So keep stirring on it. Bring it out from the heat, it's going to dry. Look at that. This is my way of how to make a scramble egg. Okay, no oil, just a bit of butter. Okay, look at that. Then again, I put add the one tablespoon of cream. This is low fat. Okay, then mix it. Okay. Just keep mixing. Look at that. And 
Ayan, tapat na. Oops, done. Okay. Then what that, guys? Finish. Easy. Look. Okay. Guys, look at this. This is our egg sandwich with avocado using a sort of bread. It's a brunch together with breakfast and lunch with a glass of orange juice. It's a great brunch. Guys, today let's go to almond macarons. This is a very easy almond macarons. So the ingredients I have here is egg whites, four egg whites, and four teaspoons of corn flour. This is optional. You can use rice flour as well, okay? And three-fourth cup of granulated sugar, or you can make it also one cup of granulated sugar, one and a half cup of almond flour, and the almond split blanch of fresh almond and almond essence and vanilla essence. So first we are going to mix alone the egg whites. Okay. Whisk until standing and soft peaks before adding the sugar. Okay, just keep watching. Okay. This is a very easy almond mask. So look, look at that. Our marigui is getting stronger. Then it's time to add the sugar. One at a time. Okay. It's form it like a marigui. Okay. Be with me, guys. Just keep watching. One thing I love this macaron because. It is very low calories, okay? Look at that. We are almost there, okay? And add it with almond essence. A little bit. Okay. And look at that. Just a few couple of seconds. Okay. Look at that. Perfect mixing. Okay. Done. Strong. Now we add the corn flour into our almond flour. Then pour the ground almond into our egg mixtures. That mix it one at a time. Okay, time to time, fold it. Okay. So 
very easy in a way. And this is also the way of making macarons, the one in Paris. Okay. The famous macarons in Paris. This is the same way. Okay. Just continue until it will incorporate it. It's folded well. Okay. Okay, just keep watching. Then it's ready to scoop or spoon. But anyway, guys, I'm using an icing bag. Okay, it is a way for me. But you can use also a spoon. Okay, using a spoon, you can do it. But for me, this is my easy way. And quickly. Look at that. See that? And also I can control it. See that guys? Easy, quick, and yummy. A very low calories. There's no egg yolks, there's no dairy. I never use um, butter or an oil at all. Yes. But if you don't want so many sugar, you can less the sugar as well. It depends on your taste. Okay, go like that.
friends. Our almond macaron is ready to oven eventually, just only 20 minutes. Look at that. Okay. And look at this. Perfect. Our almond macarons is done, ready to serve. I'm going to transfer it into a serving tree. Actually, guys, kids are visiting to us today. So this is for them. Okay. Look at that. I love these macarons in a way. It's satisfying my uh, craving of macarons. Hello. Hi. Hi, today. What happened? Baby, this man a baby. Subscribe, level 99, the baking tutorial. Okay. 
it's today I have a lemon mousse gato and uh, using again your sponge cake the ingredients I have is six eggs okay large six eggs three four cup of granulated sugar one teaspoon vanilla and one cup of all-purpose flour and half teaspoon of baking powder so here we go this is our eggs the six eggs and add it with sugar and of course the vanilla okay then start into a very low speed okay then bring it into a high speed approximately 10 minutes okay Hey guys, just keep watching with me. You know, I have a lot of video about this Ginyu sponge cake. Okay. I'd like you to watch this because, you know, this is easy. And if you are mastering with this, with it, this is good to be a base of your any cakes that you're going to make. It. Okay. And now we are adding the flour one at a time until we can see it that our butter mixing butter there is no lamp around in it okay okay mix it slowly almost there I made it into two layers to make it quick okay, and easy for me. So look at that. It's not really equal for me. I need two layers for this lemon mouse gato. Then, of course, we open this one into 20 minutes, just 20 minutes, 175 degrees. Because this is very thin. Of course, we divide it into layers. So, look at that, guys. This is ready to open. Lock. So, leave it for 20 minutes. So, to make a most filling, I have here two third cup of double cream or thick cream. I'm going to mix this through hand mixer until it becomes spongy or thick. Okay. Just keep mixing until it forms like meringue, spongy. Okay. Just mix it around 10 minutes, maybe. To make like this, it's easy to have a hand mixer done to use stand mixer. So done, look at that. Easier than stand mixer. Then we are going to transfer it into a big bowl because we are going to mix also again the eggs and of course 
the sugar. So here we go, the sugar, half cup of custard sugar, and three egg yolks with lemon zest. Mix it together with a hand, mix hand mixer as well. Okay. Just keep mixing, guys, until thick and moss. You can see that we almost there. Yeah. Our cake is done. Okay, we we put it aside. We leave it to cool a little bit. Okay, you can see that, guys. Perfect. Then I continue mixing my eggs. Okay. until thick and mold like Look at this. You're almost there. Baking needs more patience and more fun anyway. Done, look at that. Now we are going to dissolve the gelatin. This is three teaspoon of gelatin with three teaspoon of water and a whole juice of a whole one lemon medium size okay leave it until well dissolved then immediately we whisk it into an egg yolk mixture we bring it into the egg yolk mixture Mixture. Okay. Here we go. Then again, mix. Be sure that our consistency is very good. You see that? I'm mixing until thick and most, most like. See that? We almost there. Continue mixing, guys. Okay. Be sure that it will be thick and mouse like. So, a reason why I use hand mixer. Okay. A little bit tiring, but it's fine. You see that? Then you are slowly fold it into more thick cream. Okay. You see? Okay. Then fold it. Mix it slowly. Avoid spoiling our cream. Okay. okay. Look at that. Yes, look at that. Okay. Our lemon mouse ready for filling. Great, perfect. See that? Okay. 
now let's go to our cake. We're going to transfer the cake into a wire wrap. Okay. Because we started to assemble the cake. Okay, look at that. Very spongy cake. Perfect baking. Okay, go on the guys. Okay. Then the other layer as well. Guys, just keep watching. Then this is the other layer. Okay. Then we are going to brush this with a lemon syrup. Lemon syrup is one cup of uh, granulated sugar and one eighth cup of uh, lemon, lemon juice, fresh, and another uh, one eighth also cup of uh, what they call that water. Mix it together, then put it in the heat, boil it until the water is dissolved five minutes or uh, six minutes. Then you have a syrup, you have a lemon syrup, then brush it in your cake. Did you see what I did? Okay. Then we add the most So look at that, guys. Okay. Spread it all over. Cover the whole top, the whole base. Okay. Then after this, place the second layer of the cake on top. But first, again, we brush some lemon syrup. Okay. Okay. Just keep watching. We almost there. Okay. Then put on top. Yes. Then press it. Just mild press. Press it mildly, and brush some lemon syrup on top as well. Then cover it and chill overnight. Okay. You can see that guys. We put it in the fridge. So here is our uh, lemon mouse gato. Just I bring it out from the fridge. Then we are going to bring it into a serving tree. Okay. 
And guys, after sprinkle the icing on top, I will add a little bit of, you know, fresh strawberries or what kind of berries you are wanted to put in. So I have strawberries and blueberries. Okay. Okay, we just sprinkled all over on top. Then after this, we add some fresh fruit, berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberry, whatever kind of berries you want to put on top. Okay. Well, that I choose strawberries and blueberries. Okay, guys. Or if you don't have more, just add a few, a little bit. Okay. Just keep watching, we're almost there. Okay. Look at that. You can see that. So many strawberries. Okay. Then I will add also a blueberries in the middle. Okay. Not much. Okay. Then some icing sugar again on top before we're going to serve. Okay. So here we go, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Vol 99, the baking tutorial. Lemon mouse gato. All right, here we go. We have an apple strudel cake. The ingredients I have here is, of course, the self raising flour, one and a half cup and the 450 grams of cooking apples, two eggs, one teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoon of fresh milk, half cup of granulated sugar, half cup of soft margarine and salted, and one teaspoon of lemon juice. First, we are going to mix the butter and the sugar. Now it's time to add the sugar and the butter and, of course, the lemon together. Okay. Then start mixing on it. Okay. Then add the eggs. Okay, until mixture is smooth. Okay, keep mixing. Then 
we try to add also the milk to get a soft consistency. Okay. Then, the last is the flour. Okay, keep it mixing until well incorporate. Okay, look at that. Our mixture is smooth. Done. Look at so that. we put it on the baking pan. Okay, I'm using removable baking pan. Sit to the side, then slice that hole. Okay. Slice the hole. This is 450 grams. So we cover with apple slice. Okay, just we add all the 450 grams of apples. Okay. See, it's good to Stereocell topping, I have self-pressing flour, cinnamon, one teaspoon, one third cup of butter, caster sugar, and we're going to mix with my hand. Look at that. Put it on top. Cover the apple. Okay, and ready to bake. You see that, guys? Look at that. Perfect. 45 minutes with 180 degrees. And look at that. We have an apple streusel cake. I love this cake anyway, especially the streusel. Look at that. Crunchy, you know. The top, the streusel is very crunchy. See that, guys? Yes. Then we sprinkle some icing sugar on top. See that? Okay. Just cover the top with icing sugar. And look at that. This is really sweet. Okay. So here we go, the apple streusel cake, perfect. Look at that, golden color, crunchy on top, matching with the icing sugar on the top, wow, yummy. So look at this, this is ready to serve. So guys, don't forget to subscribe, Vol99, the baking tutorial. Guys, today I will show you how to make a mirror glaze cake using a Guinness sponge cake. As usual, guys, if you want to learn about Guinness sponge cake, you can watch my video. Of course, six eggs, one cup of flour, all purpose flour, vanilla, three-fourth cup of sugar, and 
We are going to mix this approximately 10 minutes. Start to the low speed until we put it in the high speed. Until it will properly done. Okay. Now we add the flour one at a time. Okay. Just keep mixing, guys. Okay. Be sure that our speed is very low. Okay, look at that. There we go. We're almost there. The problem of uh, making Kenyan sponge cake is the mixing. We spend a lot of time of mixing. So anyway, if you, get a, if you get a technique about how, it's easy anyway. So, what about that? Okay. Finish then. We divide it into two layers. Okay. Then eventually we open this into 20 minutes with 175 degrees. Okay. Ready to oven. Here we go. Our cake is done. Perfect. And we set the strawberries. We set aside the cake. Okay. 150 grams of strawberry. This is homemade strawberry sauce or homemade strawberry jam. And two third cup of sugar. And of course, the lemon juice. One third cup of lemon juice, fresh, okay, and the one teaspoon of corn flour, just mix, mix it all together, and the one third cup of uh, water, just mix all together, put it in the head until after approximately five minutes. Strawberry is still cut, we are going to put this one up clean. If you have any, you know, silicone one, you can use it, but I, yeah, I don't have. So I use this and cover with a clean. Okay. And this one as well, cover it all the base, all over the base. So that you have no any trouble when you transfer it. It will not stick on the tree or it will not stick on the pan. Okay, and then we are going to put here the cake. Okay, we transfer the cake in this pan. Okay, here we go. You can see that, guys. Okay, I get a perfect one. Perfect uh, sponge cake. This is our base. Always, I use it, I use Ganyu sponge cake for my base. Because guys, it will not be clogs. And of course, it goes to any, 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 any flavor. Okay, then the next is we add the strawberry put on top. Okay, spread it all over. Yeah. Okay, 
listening to the advice. No, it's a very long process when you are making this pie, okay? But of course, you need to be have a different one. Okay, just spread it all over. Mm -hmm. Then after this one, we're gonna bring it into the freezer for an hour. We freeze this cake with this strawberry chomp or sauce. Okay, this is homemade strawberry chomp. Okay. Bring it in the freezer for an hour. Then let's go to another uh, baking pan. This, this is removable baking pan. Another, we cover it with a cling. Okay. Just cover the same, all the base of the baking pan. Okay. Then we are going to put this one aside because we are going to proceed to mix the cheese. Okay. So for the first thing, guys, I have 300 grams of white chocolate, one cup of whipping cream, one cup of icing sugar, and 450 grams of creamy cheese. Then we mix together the cheese and, of course, the sugar into the stand mixer. You can see that, guys. Okay. Then the sugar. We start into a very low speed, then bring it into the very high speed to mix it well, the cheese, with the sugar, before we added the other ingredients, okay? What? Then add the whipping cream when we see the cheese is already mixed well. Okay. It's so creamy right now, then add the whipping cream. Okay. Put it in the low speed. Then for a couple of minutes, bring it again into the high speed. until become very creamiest. Silky and creamy. You can see that guys. When you see that it's already done or we cannot find any laminate, okay, bring it out. Look at that. So the next step is the white chocolate melting into the microwave. But be sure, guys, that the whole chocolate is all melting. Okay? Before we add into our mixing cheese. Okay? I don't add anything just itself. The white chocolate put it on the microwave just for a couple of seconds, then I slowly 
mix it. Okay, I think it's nothing. Then add into the cheese. And again, we mix it into a very high speed. Okay. Yes. We almost done. So many works to do with this kind of cakes, you know. You need more patience. So look at that. I scoop the cheese into our prepared pan. You can see that guys. And next to my pan is the cake. I remove it. I bring it out from the freezer because we'll transfer the cake into the cheese. Okay. We need more patience to make this kind of cake, guys. Okay, there we go, the cake. Yes. So the strawberry is very chill. So here is guys, look at that. Now we cover the top of our first layer, okay? By the way, guys, only one layer we put it in the freezer. Because of the strawberry jam, we need to be a little bit frozen or chill. Perfectly frozen anyway. Then add the second layer in it, okay? Then cover with the cheese. Okay, then after processing this, we put again into the freezer for two hours. Or when the cheese is already chilled and frozen a bit. Okay, because we need the strong foundations of our roasting. Okay. You see that, guys? A little bit complicated, but you know, if you are mastering on it, it's fine. So let's mix the glaze. So I have here 150 grams of white chocolate and I have 300 ml of water and uh, 40 spoon of gelatin clay added with one cone of condensed milk, approximately exactly 327 grams. Just mix all ingredients and Put it on the head, keep mixing until it will melting. Okay guys. And be sure that uh, it will not be burned in the bottom. So make it slow, the temperature. Okay. We almost there. Look at that. It's done. Now I'm going to strain it. So here we go. Add some color. Color that you desire. Okay, look at this. Keep mixing and set it aside. 
Okay? Look at that. A little bit hot. A little bit warm. So just this is also 150 grams of white chocolate. I melt it and I spread it into my wax paper. Spread it well until flattened. So try to sp uh, spread it quickly before it's gonna be cold. Okay, look at that. See that? Because this is our decorations. We're gonna put this one on top. Then you're gonna cut it into stripe. Okay. You can, uh, after this, you can cut a stripe. Okay, look at that. See that? Okay, then we're going to cut it into slice. Okay. See that. If you want it a little bit uh, smaller than this, it's fine. It's up to you. Okay, because I'm hurry, so I make it quick. Okay. Then fold it end to end. Look at that. Something like that. Okay. You can see that. Then slowly fill up the wax paper. And slowly we separate each other. You see that? Okay. I uh, hurry, guys. That's why I pause it to finish it quick. Okay. Just continue watching, guys. Okay, look at that. Okay. See that. Almost there, almost finished. Then we can keep it aside. Okay. So I bring it out from the freezer, our cake, then I start pouring on it. Look at that. It's a little bit frozen, the frosting we have. And look at that, just pour it all over the cake. Okay. And, okay, look at that. Just continue it. Leave the glaze. Uh, Dripping on the cake. Look at that. Okay, just continue. Keep it dry. Okay. Just leave it in the rocks. In the wire rocks for a while. Until it's going to stop dripping. And look at that. It's shining again. One more. Okay, look at that. Just pour it all over again until it cover it the whole cake. Side, top. Look at that. 
it's a very long process. But guys, this is sweet, I mean, delicious cake because of the white chocolate. Okay. Wow. Look at that. It needs more patience, this kind of cake. Okay. Keep it dripping and look at that, guys. It's transferred already into a serving plate. Then I decorate the one we have uh, we do it uh, a while ago. The white chocolate. Look at that. I put it on top. It's a little bit, you know, dry our glaze. Okay. Look at that. Wow. Perfect. But if you, if you wanna choose a little bit you know smaller than i have you can do it if you are not hurry okay look up then you know guys i choose to put it a fresh fruit in the middle because i elapse time to make it more the guest is here already so And look at me. Okay, or you can add a grated uh, chocolate. Okay, so look at that, guys. Our cake is almost done. Okay, I add some fresh uh, strawberries in the middle. As I told you earlier, you can put also a grated chocolate, whether it is milk chocolate or white chocolate. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. You know, this cake, you put a lot of effort, spend a lot of time, but it is worth it. Why? Because so yummy. You can see how it looks like when you can slice this, because it's blended with the strawberry fresh homemade jam and also the cheese okay very refreshing because it's frozen then when you transfer it into a fridge gosh believe me guys yummy look at that the quality the charm on the top and the cake and of course the glaze, the glaze is so yummy because of the condensed milk and the chocolate, uh, ch white chocolate, blended together. Oh gosh. So here we go, look at that. But guys, so many works to do, so many things to prepare. It takes a lot of time to do this cake. So look at that, guys, our glazed mirror cake. So don't forget to subscribe, Bell 99, the baking tutorial. Guys, today I will show you the healthy breakfast that we are going to use or we are going to eat every day this is very affordable so you can see it here that i have a sweet potato okay we are going to use only a 200 grams of sweet potato i will tell you why we need to eat sweet potato instead of bread and also, I have here, okay, look at that, it's 200 grams. And also, I have here an avocado. Then I will tell you also why I always use an avocado and the organic eggs. Okay, if how many eggs we are going to eat every day. 
Okay? So, look at that. So, this is 200 grams of uh, sweet potato. Whether orange or yellow sweet potato, you can use it. And we're going to add some black pepper. Okay, a bit of black pepper. And, of course, a little bit of coconut organic virgin oil. Okay, just only a spoon, a teaspoon, a little bit. Okay, that. This is organic. <coughs> this guys, we are going to cook into an air fryer. We use air fryer today to cook our a sweet potato and add a little bit of salt. Okay. That's my air fryer. We are going to use it. By the way, just one medium of, uh, size of sweet potato pies provided almost 400% of your daily vitamin E. It is rich in a beta carotene, which is crucial for immunity. A single sweet potato also contains 15% of our daily recommended fiber intake, which is can lower your cholesterol levels and boost your uh, GI health. Use sweet potato as a swap for your usual morning bread. You guys, believe me, if you are uh, exercising your diet, use sweet potato for your breakfast. Look at that. And of course, you yeah, know, I have also a papaya. Papaya, we know it as a rich in vitamin C and A. So, 30 grams of papaya, this is good also for colon, of course, for our uh, digestion. And also a pineapple, we know it also a uh, vitamin C and vitamin A. And, of course, my eggs. I use four eggs, one whole egg and three egg whites because eggs especially the white eggs recommended that this is a very high protein and low calorie then i'm using the olive virgin oil look at that okay whole eggs and added with three egg whites look at that Okay, and we are going to add a little bit of uh, black paper. Okay, you see the guys. This is black paper thing. And before, uh, because we are waiting our egg to cook, I slice the avocado. Why I'm always using an avocado, and I love av avocado as well. Avocado are great source of vitamin C, A, and K, and vitamin B6, as well as riboflavin and niacin and folate. Pantotenic acid as well, magnesium, and potassium. This is a high potassium anyway. Also provide a beta carotene and omega-3 fatty acid. That's why I love avocado and this is very tasty. Especially in guacamole. When you make guacamole, oh my God, it's nice with grilled chicken. So, Here is our fried egg. I'm going to flip it. Okay. One whole egg and three eggs white. Three eggs white. Okay, I'm pressing the egg yolk because I want it to be well done cooked. We need a couple of seconds to cook it well. So, leave it for a while, okay? Mm -hmm. 
So this is the sweet potato that I was cooking in air fryer. Only 400 grams. And my avocado, I can add some lemon to avoid changing the color. This is my technique of not changing the color with our banana and this one, the avocado and also the apple. I use the lemon or limes. Then the eggs, put it on top to our into my sweet potato. and some uh, green leaves, the aragula. I love this, a little bit bitter with lemon. Looks so yummy. Look at this, guys. My pineapple, papaya, avocado, and the eggs with sweet potato. Look at that. I have a perfect breakfast that I'm going to serve. So very good guys. I'm serving you a very healthy breakfast today. And it's going to lose your weight. Believe me, this is the best low cholesterol but high protein and combined with a lot of nutrients. Affordable. So, this is it. And I have some coffee as well. Okay. I'm serving a very healthy breakfast today. So guys, don't forget to subscribe, Vel99, the baking tutorial. Guys, today I have a date and walnut loaf. This is double ingredients. So one cup of walnuts and unsalted butter, one third cup, and six eggs, large room temperature, brown sugar, one cup, two cups of dates, seedless, and three cups of self raising flour. Okay, first we combine the butter and the brown sugar into a stand mixer. Mix the butter and the sugar together until light and fluffy. Okay. Then, we're going to put it in into a high speed. Okay, look at that. Then add the eggs. Okay. Then add some 
cinnamon powder, a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, or vanilla essence. This is optional as you like. Okay, just continue mixing, guys. Okay, then. Right, the flower. Okay, just continue mixing. Okay. Then look at that. Soft mixture. Very soft mixtures. Okay, and look at that. Now I'm added the cinnamon powder. Or if not, you can add also a vanilla essence or lemon, if you wish. Okay. Grease and base line with a wax paper or a baking paper. Okay, then we spread half of mixtures over base of prepared tin. Our bowl is so heavy, look at that. I, almost I could not carry it. Okay. Just half of cake mixtures. Then the next step is we arrange the uh, dates on top or over the base or over the mixtures, the cake mixtures. Look at that. Just you know, guys, this one you can mix the dates with butter or lemon in the stand mixer. But for me, because I just arranging the dates, I will not cover the base or the cake mixtures over because it's become, you know, sweeter. So better to do this. This is good for afternoon tea. If you have a guess, to have an, uh, you know, coffee break, snack. This is good for it. Good treat for somebody with you. Then, repeat the second layers, the last mixtures ending. Then, we spread it all over, over the Dates should not be shown because it's going to burn the dates and it's become bitter. So we just covering the dates, the last layer. Okay, then we are going to arrange the walnuts in a line down center of our loaf. Okay. See guys, look at that. You know, walnuts is 
I love walnuts, but not, I don't eat it too much. Because, you know, when you eat a lot or three to four pieces of this walnut, you feel full. Then, we are going to bake this cake for one hour until well risen and firm to touch. Okay? Then leave it in a 10 for 10 minutes before. So guys, our cake is already in the oven. We are waiting for eventually one hour. Okay? And here we go. Our cake is cooked. Look at that, beautiful. Then we are going to slice this cake. Every slice should have a walnuts on top. Then we are going to arrange it on the serving tree. Okay, and look at that, guys. Perfect, you know. Soft and a little bit crunch on the top. Really, it's good for afternoon tea. Okay. Everybody loves this cake, especially in the afternoon, four o'clock, for your coffee, tea, with family, with friends. It is so great. This is my round cake in my kitchen because I'm baking a lot of cake today. Because, guys, I'm hosting every weekend or uh, two times a week party. My responsible is making a sweet dessert for tea. So I made, you know, in one week, I made sometimes 15 kinds of cakes, sweet dessert. So some of those cakes or some of those dessert, I uploaded it in my channel in YouTube. You know, this is a good business anyway. If you wish to have to build some businesses about this kind of business, baking, uh, ordering online, this is the best one. Although I made it. If I have enough time, yes. Someone ordered me a cake, yeah, I made it. I delivered. And look at that. See, I uh, sprinkled some, uh, I sprinkled some uh, icing sugar on top. Look at this. Look at the guys, beautiful and guys, perfect. Afternoon tea is served. So guys, don't forget to subscribe. Till 99, the baking tutorial. Today, let's go to a healthy breakfast. Everybody knows that the oatmeal forage is very good to our body, especially if you are on tight. Now today, I'm upgraded my oatmeal porridge. This is a very super satisfying, easy breakfast. So I have here a banana, a ripe banana, and the organic chumbo oats. And the next one is 
to almond drink organic gluten free and the new Zealand honey this is organic as well and the peanut butter a creamy peanut butter and the organic walnuts yes and my moist flakes coconut organic too and don't forget the cinnamon powder and the first things we do is first we cook the porridge the oats mixed with almond milk 350 ml of almond milk and three four cups of oats organic okay This is only for one person. Good for one person. So we put it in the heat, guys. This, uh, you know, this iconic jumbo oat is very quick to cook. Just only five minutes. But just because the almond milk is from the fridge too cold. So we are waiting for a couple of minutes or seconds to be boiled. But we keep stirring on it guys to avoid burning also in the bottom okay this is the best porridge and the best oat that you are going to make a porridge okay just keep mixing just keep stirring And, wow, almost there. Okay, keep mixing to avoid burning. Okay, just a couple of seconds, we are finished. Look at that. And here we go. Okay. So here we go, guys. We put it in the serving bowl. Okay. And we are going to slice the banana. We put on top over the porridge. Okay. See, just a rinse over. Then the next is the Coconut moist flakes organic. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Look at that. Wow, yummy. Then, Damanopa honey from New Zealand. Very satisfying breakfast. Easy, portable, and very satisfying. Then, there's a little bit of butter, peanut butter. Okay. And the last but not the least is the cinnamon powder. Uh, I mean, there is also walnut. I, I almost forgot a bit of walnut. Three pieces. Then the cinnamon, of course. Yeah. 
This is our porridge breakfast. And this is the oatmeal butter porridge breakfast with banana, honey, and peanut butter. A little bit of coconut. Look at that. Then the partner is coffee, of course. And we could not drink a coffee without milk. I have a hot fresh milk. Okay, with American coffee, oh, matching with my Barberry. Here we go, ready to serve. I have fresh milk, hot fresh milk, with American coffee, and our very healthy breakfast that I'm going to serve you right now. Our oatmeal organic porridge with banana peanut butter on top. So look at this guys so don't forget to subscribe bill 99 the baking tutorial guys today i have another way of making dates cookies I have one kilo of seedless uh, dates. And the next is I have three cups of semolina and a three four cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, three tablespoon of dry milk, and 125 grams of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla. One thing we do is, and also the cinnamon and one cup of warm water next is we are going to mix all the ingredients first the semolina and the butter this is uh, room temperature the sugar of course and the dry milk, the dry milk, okay, and of course the baking powder and the vanilla essence. Then we add the cinnamon powder. Then we start our machine to very low speed. If not, it will fly over. All our ingredients, it's outside in the bowl so here we go and then see to it guy one thing we do it is we we will see it if the butter is already incorporated into the whole ingredients before we add the warm water okay now it's time to add the warm water okay and still we are in the, in the very low speed. Then we put it in the very high speed. Look at this. Okay. Just keep mixing. And look at the pictures. Everything is well incorporated. So look at this. I transfer into a very light bowl. Then we set it aside. Then let's go to uh dates we mix the dates this is the one kilo of dates seedless mixed with uh, 25 grams of butter and salted butter room temperature bring it to the stand mixer and we are going to mix it into a very high speed you can see that guys okay until it will incorporate it. Just keep mixing. Okay, like that. Then put it in a very low speed because it's almost done. We are done. You can see Guys, that. you can see that this is optional. You can use melted butter, peanut butter, or almond butter. To spread it on your base but for me in my experience i choose the sesame paste because when i bake a date's cookie it's good to use a 
sesame paste on the base of our baking pan. Okay, and someone behind me helping me because we have a huge party tonight. So she's helping me, she's making a syrup for one of my cookies. Okay, about that. Then half of our dough will spread it on the base, not thick and not very thin. Okay, you can see it. I love this cookie because it's so easy and quick. Just spread all over and put it in the oven. That's it. Okay, you can see that. And this is tasty. I love dates. So many dates are in Middle East, you know. It's their product. So here we go, guys. We're gonna put our filling, the dates. And you know, guys, some people, we add some walnuts, desiccated coconut, or a cinnamon into the dates. It's also giving more taste. So just cover it all over also. And see how I do. Okay. The date is so soft. So just we completed. We are sure that the dates will not shown to avoid burning. Okay, this is ready to open. Approximately, guys, 40 minutes or less than 40 minutes, 35 minutes. Okay, with a temperature of 175 degrees up and down because I'm using an electric oven. See that? Okay. So ready to oven. So here we go, guys. This is our dates cookie. Look at that. This is so crunchy, you know. Then we slice it into square. See that? So this is how it looks like so our dates cookies. The slice is a square. Then we are going to transfer this uh, cookies into a serving plate or a serving tray one by one. Okay. A little bit missed our table because there is a lot of sweet that I bake it today. So many because we have a huge party tonight. Look at this. And so you can see that, guys. Okay. We deliver this sweet into our beach house. Okay, look at that. This is soft, crunchy. I love dates so much. It's come to natural sweet. Okay. can see 
see the slides. Someone is helping me, my assistants over there behind me. Okay, so beautiful. Look at that. See that? Wow. See? Beautiful. Then we're going to add some uh, pistachio nuts, grinded pistachio nuts on top. Okay, look at that. Love it. Very we go, guys. We are putting a pistachio grinded nuts on top. So this is our date cookies. So guys, don't forget to subscribe, Vel99, the baking tutorial. Guys, today I'm going to make a Hollandaise sauce because I prefer for big pass of Benedict egg sandwich. So here we go. I have a four egg yolks, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, two eggs for pouch egg, two tablespoons of white vinegar, and two tablespoons of lemon juice. The black paper, the salt, and I have a small saucepan with a boiling water added with a white vinegar. While we are waiting that this uh, water is going to boil. So while we are waiting, the water is going to boil. Now we started melting the butter. We are going to melt the butter slowly in a frying pan or a small pot, whatever you have. Okay, and try not to let it boil. We want it the moisture and the butter to remain there. Okay, and not steam away. Okay, we almost there. We almost we almost completed. Okay. You see the slice? Almost done. Okay. Yes. Then we are going to transfer this into a measuring cup or measuring glass with a spout so it's easy to pour in a thin stream. Now let's proceed to egg yolks. Okay, we put in the blender with the lemon juice. Okay. And the black paper, of course, and salt. Okay. Or if not, you want cayenne, you can uh, you can add cayenne so. Guys, we blend the egg yolks mixtures for 30 seconds at a medium high speed until lighten in colors. You know, guys, these steps gives the sauce more body. The friction is generated by the blender blended will heat will heat the yoga bed. Now the blending action will also introduce a little air into them, you know, making your hollandaise a bit lighter. Now we are going to add slowly the butter. Okay, but continue blend it. Just continue blend it. Don't off. Okay. But make it, we will make it a 
slow spin. Okay, just continue for a couple of seconds. Okay, then I'm going to transfer this one into a saucepan. We put it on the heat in a very low heat, very slowly until it becomes a bit sticky. You can see that. Okay, I pour the sauce, the egg sauce, into a saucepan. Okay. We put it in the heat. We keep mixing on it until a little bit sticky. You see that? This is my way of making Hollandaise sauce. You can see that, guys. Okay, so now, this is how it looks like my whole on this sauce, a, a very light in color and not warm. Our water is boiling for our poached egg. So we're going to add the egg, then another egg. Okay. And absolutely well done, the egg yolk. Okay. Just leave it for a while until the egg yolk will totally fall. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. Then, look at that. It's time to transfer into a war absorbent towel tissue papers. Okay. I'm going to use a Shabbata bread instead of English muffin. Okay, I'm going to toast this, and here we go. Here's my shabata, and I prepared some coffee. Okay, this is English coffee, American coffee, and look at this, our shabata bread. And I'm going to put the pouch egg on top. Okay, then I'm going to add also my Hollandaise sauce. Look at that, guys. The perfect Hollandaise sauce. Look at that. It's not watery. Look at that. A bit sticky. It's not so sticky. Look at that. Wow, love it. Yes, perfect. Hollandaise sauce. Okay. Then I add some uh, arugula. See some decorations in that. Look. So guys, our egg benedict sandwich with Holland sauce is ready to serve the best breakfast ever. Side with the blueberry, strawberry, and papaya with American coffee. And I have a beautiful cup today, a Christian Dior. Look at that. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to 99 the baking tutorial. Hi, 
guys. Today I have a ginger cake with a ginger caramel sauce. This is a very delicious cake that I've ever made. So I have here one cup of salt pressing flour, one cup of plain flour and half teaspoon of soda, three fourth cup of golden syrup, two eggs, one cup of thickened cream, double cream, half cup of brown sugar, unsalted butter, 250 grams, and ginger grated 12 inch. So we mix together the butter and now I mix the sugar and the butter together. Okay. Just keep mixing until it will incorporate it. It will combine. Okay. Then you are going to add the ginger. And the golden syrup. Keep mixing. And the next is the egg. Okay. Just keep mixing, guys, until it will incorporate it to butter and the whole ingredients before we are adding the egg. Then the eggs. Okay. Just keep mixing, guys. And the whipping cream or the thick cream. Okay. Then the next is the flour. The self-raising flour and the plain flour with half teaspoon of bicarbonate soda. Okay, just keep mixing until it will incorporate it. It will combine all ingredients. Okay. Just keep mixing, guys. We're almost there. Okay, then I put it in the stand mixer again because I found some a bit of butter is not mixed well. So I put in the high speed to mix it very well. Combine. Look at that. Now it's perfectly done. So I put it in my round cake pan. Look at that. We can also to braise some oil. Anyway, it's fine. Together, need more of my wax papers. But it's okay. It's already there. Then, add that. Spread it. So it's all okay. It's moving. So don't forget to braise some oil in your. Uh, base in your cake pan. So, Let's go to the fillings. I have here one teaspoon of gelatin plus two tablespoons of water mixed together, one quart thick cream, 125 grams of cream cheese, Philadelphia, and one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of lemon rind, a lime juice, one tablespoon. One thing we do is just mix all, all the ingredients. Okay, the gelatin, Okay, the cream, the sugar, the lemon rind, the lemon juice, the lime juice, one tablespoon, and the one part thick of cream or the cream. Just blend it all together. Okay. Okay, this is very easy, and we set it aside. Okay, look at that. Then we transfer this one into a bowl. We are going to transfer our cheese cream into a bowl and set it aside, or if not, just put it in the fridge while we are waiting our cake to be cooked. 
Okay. You can see the flies. So here we go. Our cake is cooked. Then we're going to put it upside down because we are going to make it a hole using a bowler. But my bowler is there is a shape of a heart. And make it a hole in wall, but don't throw it the cake because we are going to put it up. You can see the flies. Okay. So cute. This cake is so yummy. I love the sauce. The ginger caramel sauce is so yummy. I love it so much. Okay, how about that? So many hearts. You know, this kind of cake or this cake is very demand. They are always asking me to bake this cake. Look at that. And you see that, guys? Our cheese cream, no, this is the cream, the cheese that we blended. I put it in the icing bag and look at that. See? Okay, just continue watching with me. Because so interested or very interesting. Look at that. You know, sometimes baking is so funny. Okay, and look at that. Wow, looks so good. Then we're going to return back the cake. Half, look at that. Just half. And Still don't throw it, the cake, because we are going to put it on top. Because that's still a cake. Okay, we're going to look at that. See the fly? Great idea, isn't it? What a brilliant idea. This is our caramel ginger sauce. We're going to boil this until it's gonna be caramel. Then add one fourth cup of water and two tablespoon of ginger fresh juice. Then add a little bit more again, okay? And mix it and set it aside until cool. Okay. So here you go, guys. I'm going to cut a cake. It's very interesting, you know. I have so much fun of cake. Okay. If I'm bored, I'm going to the kitchen. Any recipes of cake that I'm going to do. Lovely. Hello. Then we add our ginger caramel sauce. 